Shahru Ramadan, Alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an, then he says, Hudal nas This part of the ayah is a slap in the face. He says, Qur'an is guidance for all people. This ayah is not just to the Muslims, it's also to the Jewish community of Medina. They believe that when wahi comes, it comes for who? Just themselves. It just themselves. Allah says, no, you are not going to this time, this wahi is not just for you. It is for all people, hudal lil nas. He didn't even say hudal lil arab, hudal li bani israel, hudal li bani ismail, hudal li bani ibrahim. No, 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 no. Hudal lil nas. This guidance for all people. This is one of the most beautiful things about our religion, folks. It is one of the most beautiful things about our religion. I don't care if you go into a masjid in America, or Australia, or the Khalij, or Pakistan, if there are multiple nationalities, multiple nationalities, standing in one row. You don't make a distinction, the rich people should be in the first row. Middle class should be in the second row. The janitor should be in the third row. Nope. Nope. Everybody stands in the same row. And it could be that the boss and the worker are standing together. And it could be that the worker is in the first row and the boss is in the last row. That could be too. It could be that the guy who works for you is leading prayer and you're praying behind him. That could be too. It, Allah made this guidance for all people. You know what that means? He made all human beings equal. Just by Quran, by the institution of Salat. We cannot be racist because we have Salat. We cannot be supremacist. We cannot think my nation is better than your nation. My nationality is better than your nationality. My language is better than your language. My skin color is better than your skin color. My village is better than your village. We can't do it. And you know when we are reminded that we can't do that? When we stand together in Salat. When Bilal radiallahu anhu is standing next to Uthman radiallahu anhu, we are reminded that we're equal. This is hudan lin nas. That's what that means. You know why I'm highlighting that? Because I notice it in Muslims. I notice asabiyah in Muslims. I notice Muslims make fun of other nationalities. Look down on them. Talk bad about them. Talk bad about people that speak a different language. The, the, the Arabi makes fun of the non-Arabi. The Bangladeshi makes fun of the Pakistani. The Pakistani makes fun of the Indian. The Filipino makes fun of the Malaysian. What's going on here? Don't we make salat? Don't we make salat? Because if that's what our, if we're not learning from our salat, if we're not learning from this Qur'an, then we're just, it's like, I, I tell you, we're just a shell. You know, if you have a shell and you don't have any egg inside, that's what our Islam is sometimes. It's just, a, you look like Muslim, you say the words that Muslims say, but inside your heart, there's no, there's no love for your deen. Every one of us here that are sitting in this audience, so many different countries are sitting in this audience right now. It's such an international gathering right here. This is a United Nations meeting right now, you know? Let me tell you, I don't know your name. Some of, some of you know my name, I don't know your name. But you know what? We have a relationship with each other that is thicker than blood. It is thicker than blood just because of La ilaha illallah, just because of that. This Qur'an binds us together. And this was told to the Jews. You know why? Because the Jews believed they were special. Everybody else is second class. We're first class. Everybody else is Gentiles. We're the chosen nation. Allah says anybody can become people of Qur'an. Hudan lin nas. Open invitation to humanity. That eradicates racism, nationalism, tribalism, egotism. It gets rid of these things. SubhanAllah. What an amazing religion. This is such an incredible thing. Even in America, I can tell you, there are black churches. There are Spanish churches. There are Greek churches, even of the same denomination. And then in the, in the heart of Brooklyn, you're going to have, in New York, in Brooklyn, you'll have different churches, different ethnicities. You walk into the masjid, it's an international conference again. All the same ethnicity standing together. They don't even speak each other's language, but they're praying together. The same Qur'an unifies us. Because when we stand in Salat, what are we listening to? It's Qur'an. Huda lil nas. Wa bayyinatim min al huda. And there are multiple proofs, clear evidences from guidance. Allah took, this ayah was supposed to be about Ramadan. لِأَنَّهَا بَدَأَتْ بِكَلِمَةْ شَهْرُ Ramadan. The ayah began with شَهْرُ Ramadan. But so far he says, Qur'an came down in it. It's a guidance for people. It's got multiple pre proofs from the guidance. Meaning the, the guidance itself has miracles. That if you look at them, you will know this can only be the word of Allah. بَيِّنَاتٍ مِنَ الْهُدَى وَالْفُرْقَان And it distinguishes between right and wrong. All of this up until now, Allah didn't say anything about Ramadan. What's He only talking about? 
Quran. More than half this ayah is about Quran. <laughs> Why is he doing that? Because he wants to make sure no Muslim ever forgets that Ramadan is about the Quran. Ramadan is about the Quran. It's about the miracle of this book.